Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterstocks.com five-part series on having dual monitors on your MacBook. Now we've connected the external 22-inch monitor to the DVI port on the MacBook. This happens to be a MacBook Pro, similar on the MacBook. Now we're going to open System Preferences, either by clicking on the icon in the dock or by clicking on the Apple menu and selecting System Preferences. Now, I'm going to have you go into Expose and Spaces and temporarily disable those, and I think you'll see why a little bit later. Now we're going to go back to Show All. We're going to click on Displays. Now, what you can't see is that a box similar to this one came up on the other monitor. And what I can do is move my mouse over there and drag it over. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> so now you can see each monitor can have its own resolution. I'm not going to change them because it messes up the recording. In fact, I found out too late. But so, both of these are at 1680 by 1050. You can say detect displays to make sure that your Mac has detected the newly attached display. Gather windows is useful if you have spaces on and have windows in different spaces you can pull them all together onto one screen. You can also check this box to automatically adjust the brightness as ambient light changes. You can also show the menu displays in the menu bar. If you click on arrangement, you'll see here that you'll see that it shows this is your MacBook display. This is the menu bar going across the top. This is the newly added monitor. It's important that your Mac knows where the monitor physically sits. In this case, mine is to the left. But if yours is above or to the right or below, your Mac needs to know that. You can mirror displays. I'm not quite certain why anyone does that but you can make it so that the other display is an exact copy of this display. So when you move the mouse here, it moves the mouse there. And then color, you very seldom have to do anything with this. It's using the color for LCD calibrated. You can have different profiles. We'll get into that in another tutorial. So this is the basic things. And the next things we'll look at the dock and the menu bar. Keep in mind that this is a part of a multiple part series and be sure to listen to all five parts.